Now, there is a reaction we need to talk about, and we need to talk about it because this is going to get you, kind of keep you out of trouble when it comes to your synthetic chemistry. And this is the reaction of amines and alkyl halides. Now, the reason we need to talk about it, we're going to start with ammonia, but you, hopefully you'll pick up pretty quick why this is going to be a problem for us. So let's say we have some alkyl halide Rx, and we add NH3 ammonia to it. What happens? Well, as you may expect, nitrogen has a lone pair. And this lone pair is going to tag the R group and displace the halogen to give us this X minus. And when we abstract, lose the hydrogen, we end up getting the R and H2. So, not a problem, right? I produced a primary amine. Actually, there is a problem. Because you see, this nitrogen still has a lone pair on it. And remember, we were able to eliminate the halogen group here by using the lone pairs of the nitrogen. So if we add, the Rx is still present. This can further attack the halogen, displace it, and we end up with the secondary amide. Well, we've still got a lone pair, right? If we've still got Rx in the solution, and we've got this compound, we can attack the halogen, displace it, lose the hydrogen, and now we end up with a tertiary amide. Okay, so it produced tertiary amine. Actually, it's going to keep going because we still have this lone pair. Nitrogen's good enough to do this. So this R3 in-group will attack the halogen on another Rx group. And what we will actually end up producing is this alkyl ammonium complex. So we get an R4 in plus that binds to the halogen. So when you work with alkyl halides and amines, the amines will displace the alkyl, the, the halide groups, particularly chlorine, bromine, and iodine. And they won't stop at a single substitution. They will continue going until they form these alkyl ammonium complexes. Now, this may not necessarily be a bad thing. You, if you want to produce the alkyl ammonium, it's very doable to do. But if you're looking just to basically do a single replacement, thinking, well, there's a lone pair. I've got a Lewis base. It'll pick off the X. I'll produce the primary amine. You'll produce the primary and the secondary, and the tertiary, and the quaternary. So this is a type of reaction that one, if you do try to keep stoichiometric equivalence, meaning that you run it at low concentrations, roughly the ratios you want, you're still gonna get a mixture of products when you finish. And if you're not careful with the stoichiometry, you're gonna end up producing a mixture of these amines.